welcome to Dynamics of Diversity Radio with Orbit Law PLLC. I'm Steve Tanijo, a partner at Orbit Law and also a co-host of this series. Thank you for joining our inaugural show. Good morning. I'm Kripa Upadhyaya, partner at Orbit Law and co-host of the series. We're very glad to have you join us this morning. Also with us in the studio this morning are Dr. Pat Bashili and our first guest, Professor Toyo Mahmoud. Professor Mahmoud is a professor of law and director of the Center for Global Justice at Seattle University School of Law. He is very widely published in the area of comparative constitutional law, international law, legal history, and race and social justice. He has examined the role of immigration and race-based politics in various countries with a history of colonialism, and today will share with us his thoughts on the present state of politics and inclusion of diverse communities in the political process in this country. Thank you for joining us, Professor Mahmoud. Uh, Thank you. Welcome, Professor Mahmoud. Um, Professor, you have served in several leadership roles in academia. For instance, you served as a co-president of the Society of American Law Teachers and also on the steering committee for Latina, Latino, Critical Critical Legal Series, Inc., but in the early stages of your career in academia, what struggles, if any, did you face as a first-generation immigrant from Pakistan? Well, I would imagine the struggles go both ways, one internal and one external. So, you know, coming to the country at, uh, you know, I was in my early 20s, uh, coming to graduate school. Uh, And so, you know, um, culture adaptations, uh, learning the nuances uh, of uh, how things go. So there is uh, that part to it. Uh, The other, of course, is what comes at you uh, from the outside. Uh, Right off the bat, I must say that, you know, uh, coming here as a graduate student and then most of my life, uh, except a few years when I was practicing, being engaged in in the uh, higher education institutions, uh, one is in a a relatively privileged position uh, in the sense that uh, what many immigrants uh, who may not uh, have, um, you know, uh, such educational background or I don't have uh, relatively uh, insulated uh, work environments. Uh, what they have to go through, uh, uh, fortunately, uh, one didn't have to. But then, uh, you know, when one is walking down the street, uh, then one is anybody. Uh, you'll be reminded of uh, the actor uh, Washington's statement that, yes, uh, I did make $70 million last year, but I still can't uh, hail a cab in New York. Uh, so those kinds of things uh, have happened. Uh, over the years, uh, a remark here, a, a, a hate speech. Uh, so I've been victim of hate speech perhaps half a dozen times, perhaps a bit more uh, over the years. Uh, but what, have, what has sustained me is more an eye on those uh, who have it worse off uh, because of where they won their own way with all or their location and the labor markets uh, and the lower on the spectrum you go, the worse things get. Uh, and that has uh, been uh, sort of more my personal, political, intellectual uh, struggle to understand that uh, and try to explain that, uh, try to resist that. Uh, so that would be, so I, I don't take this as too personal a thing, though again, you know, the the ether in which the immigration question Question floats, uh, which in, which is both labor markets and race. Uh, one cannot be immune from that. Uh, but as I said, uh, uh, relative uh, privileges uh, have uh, saved one from the sort of very uh, dire uh, circumstances that uh, uh, most uh, immigrants, uh, particularly immigrants of color, have to deal with. <laughs> 